Are you asking for a like a like a, like a song? Like Is that what you trying to say? Is that what you trying to say? When, you know, we're speaking on different, the youth and the generations and the hip hop and, you know, it's like you, you're the bridge um, and the connection, you know, like, for example, uh, Glorilla just dropped, mm -hmm. you know, you're on that song and, you know, I had T.I. on a couple weeks ago. Where we talked about, thank God, mm -hmm. um, you know, even with the Christian hip hop artist, your song with Trip Lee, um, the list goes on and on and on, man. Can you kind of? Just dive into like your, you know, place in and when these young uh, hip hop artists and these young artists come to you and you know you guys collab and work together. You know, it is it is, um, it, it, it's it's still something I guess I'm trying to figure out. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, and 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 I'm just always you know grateful that people want to work with me you mm. know you know if, if if I could say that you know I'm always appreciative I'm, mm. I'm always appreciative and you know I'm always trying to figure out when when I'm invited what I can contribute to and what what do I lend to the moment um mm. that that can either elevate it or inspire it or it can bring another uh lane of idea consciousness mm. of of conversation and so, you know, just just always trying to figure that out. Mm. And so, um, you know, there there is one. There's not one set formula for every individual. Gotcha. There's not one set um, response that I'm going to give everyone. You know, because there may be invitations that I'm not able to deliver something that is going to contribute something beneficial. Mm. And if I'm not able to, then I don't want to be in the way. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, mm. what do you guys think, man? Was Kirk wrong for? Being part of that, or what? Do, what do you guys think about the whole situation? Oh uh, man, it's a uh, it's a slippery slope, man. Because mm -hmm. um, Kirk kind of been under fire lately for a lot of the dancing and different things that he's been doing. Um, a lot of his his behavior has been kind of questionable to the Christian community. Mm. So on the backdrop of that, and then you do a song with a secular artist. My take on that is, we're trying to reach the loss. Um, yeah. What I do respect about what he just said, he pretty much saying, in other words, he's tried to use discernment because some situations that may not be fruitful for him to yeah. uh, deal with the some it may be. My thing, I would say though, is just be careful because what I'm seeing lately is it seems like the world is impacting the church more than the church is impacting the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I think it's very easy for the lines to be blurred when you behave in a certain way, you move in a certain way, yeah. and then you start to do songs with certain artists. Now, do I think Kurt is condoning the rest of the stuff that's on that album? I would like to say no. I don't. I don't think he condones that stuff. I think he's really trying to be a light. But when you have questionable behavior in other areas, it leaves room for people to be more skeptical. Mm -hmm. So I would say to anybody, or just in general, if you're trying to be a light in that place, just make sure you're not allowing that place to influence you more than you're being a light in the midst of darkness. Only God knows the heart of man. Yeah, I can't tell him what his true intentions are, but just be careful because it's easy. Uh, to be mistakenly seen as somebody who's not really being fruitful in those kind of environments. Got you. What you think, Shania? I don't agree with it. Mm. You don't agree? You, you don't think Christian artists should be dabbling with the mainstream like that? No. I, I just don't like it. Why? Why? I mean, okay, so prime example, um, shout out to my guy, Aaron Cole. He talked today, and he, I mean, he, he this week he was texting. He said, why are you guys so upset with Christian artists um, uh, messing with mainstream artists or collaborating with them and some people had some feedbacks one of my feedbacks was like hey sometimes um, the fans of the Christian artists may be like check out the mainstream artists and go like yo what's mm -hmm. good you know what I mean and then somebody responded to me and was like but the hope is for the Christian artists people could go check out the Christian I mean like the mainstream person would be like their fan base could go check out the Christian artists and I responded with that, like, yo, sometimes it's just you're hoping that Christian right. artists are hoping that happens mm -hmm. and it's not always the case. Right. You know what I mean? So what are your thoughts about the reason why you're coming to that conclusion that you said no? Well, I definitely agree with what you said, really, to both of you, to where it's like you're going in these spaces because you feel like you're going to be so impactful. But really, they're impacting you more than you're impacting them. Yeah. Or whatever. So I think, yeah. honestly, yeah. a lot of times we try to be in situations that are bigger than our bridges 
because we think we're the ones that can lead and save people. But it's like it's it's the Holy Spirit. It's the anointing that does that. So stop always trying to go into their environment and build relationships and bring them into the presence of God. But like, OK, so let's use Kirk, for example. Like, so mm-hmm. let's say if Kirk um, decides to say, you know what, I'm working with these people because I have a I'm starting to build a relationship with Glorilla. You right. know what I mean? I'm building a relationship with her and we're talking and she's like, Kirk, honestly, I really don't really want to do secular music no more. Mm-hmm. I really want to help. I, I, I'm con- I'm contracted to do that with this label. Mm-hmm. But as soon as this is over, I'm going to Jesus. But I got to walk through this. What do you say to that? Man, I think now with that right there, I can't get with because you're pretty much admitting that you know this stuff is wrong. And I think when it comes down to Christianity, you got to make a choice. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. like the path is narrow for a reason. It's like, like choose you this day who you're going to serve. What is your reasoning for wanting to wait? Is it the money? Is it the fame? The contractual obligation? Whatever. None of that takes precedence over God. So if God is truly pricking your heart and saying, you know what? Come out of this. Yeah. Come to me. Use your gifts for my glory. You need to do that immediately. I don't believe in the slow track now. The whole discipleship piece or whatever. I feel also feel like that's something that can be done behind the scenes. Yeah. I don't think you have to do music with somebody to disciple them. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, I do believe there are certain people who are called to go into the marketplace yeah. to do ministry. That's not everybody's calling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't tell you what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do. But what I will say is, once again, Paul said, become all things to all men. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean I have to be a stripper to reach the strippers. <laughs> I don't have to be a drug dealer to reach the drug dealer. Right. But, but I understand the culture. I understand the yeah. climate. Mm-hmm. So I know how to conduct myself in these spaces with, without being a blemish or without being somebody who's not correctly representing the gospel. But do, but even with that, do you still think like there are certain people that should be in those environments? Like, 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 like strip club. Like there's a, a ministry where women go into strip club, Christian women, and they encourage strippers. They talk to strippers. They they do those things. Some people may say, "Yo, why y'all doing that?" Mm-hmm. It's always gonna be that way. That's that's not my yeah. anointing. I yeah. don't mm-hmm. have the, <laughs> I don't have the strip club anointing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for a woman who comes from that lifestyle, who's passionate about seeing lives change, she knows the climate, she knows the culture. Like when Paul, when he was in Greece, he knew who the, how the Greeks moved. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he was in Ephesus, he knew how they moved. He knew the culture. Yeah. Now if she going in there saying, "Let me strip with y'all and talk to y'all." That's different. Yeah. Yes. But I've seen people go into clubs and just pray in the middle of the floor. Yeah. I've seen people do those kind of ministry. That's yeah. not my calling, but. I can't look at them and tell them that God didn't tell them to do that. As long as they're not doing anything contrary to scripture, I can't criticize them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I do think this, though. Um, I, and I, I put this in our group chat. I feel like there's Christians that's Christians um, in the culture and there's Christians that's Christians of the culture. And to me, Christians in the culture are people who, um, of course, that word, they're in the word heavily. They love the Lord. They're led by the, the Holy Spirit. And they look at the culture like, okay, God's called me here. So what's good about the culture? What's bad about the culture? How can I use the culture the way God has designed me to use it? And mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not use it like exploiting, but use it to like my gifts and talents. You know what I'm saying? Or stuff like that. So somebody that's of the culture, in my opinion, is somebody who is like, they, they listen to the culture and they listen to their church more mm-hmm. than they listen to the scriptures or stuff of right. that nature. Mm-hmm. So in, in my mind, I feel like we have to decide which ones where would we want to be? Do we want to be in the culture, influencing the culture, and being looking at stuff like, yo, that's evil. I cannot endorse that. Versus being like, I'm of, I'm a Christian of the culture, where it's like, if the culture says, it's cool to collaborate with mainstream artists, it's cool to do this, mm-hmm. it's cool to do that, I have to be against the culture. I could be in it, Paul, like you go back to Paul. Paul was in the culture, but he wasn't endorsing everything he the was culture was right. yeah. yeah, We're in right. the culture, but we're a counterculture. Like, yeah. Jesus went against the order of the day, like the Pharisees and scribes and things were doing different things. Mm-hmm. And he went against those things because he saw the errors and the way people were being mistreated and misled. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm going to go over there and I'm going to act just like them, mm-hmm. that's probably not my calling. If I can go over there and be a light in the midst of darkness and say something that could be uh, heard, that can plant a seed, a water seed in somebody's life, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna do that. On a, I'm on an assignment. I'm not over there kicking it. I'm not over there just hanging out. Yeah. I'm not going to the parties and doing all that kind of stuff because yeah. that's not my thing. But I can be over there on assignment. Now these guys are doing these songs and they're on assignment trying to plant a seed, a water seed. Only God knows what's in their heart. Now just kicking it, being a part of what's going on, I don't agree with that. Yeah. Right. Dang, I just lost my train of thought. But I definitely agree with that, um, especially going back to the, it's like, I think 
like God is going to use all of you in all of this. So if you are a thought changer and you have these places in culture, that'll get you in the door and then use it to reach people and then disciple them. Yeah. I don't have to be a part of your album and affirm and endorse whether I'm outwardly saying I'm endorsing it or not. I'm on the album. Yeah. So it's like I don't have to endorse all of this stuff and I can disciple you. And then, like you said, if you do want to transition out, I'm going to help you transition out. And your new Christian album is going to be fire. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's so many. We got so many people in the comments going back and forth about it. Like, we have some people like, yeah, man, he shouldn't be in there. And you got some people like, well, then how are they going to be reached? How are we going to reach True. these people? How are we going to do those things? And I don't think you got to be on the album to reach them, though. I think that's yeah. what people missing. Cause yeah. But I do get we don't always have to be in Christian spaces because yeah. evangelism, yeah. Christians, we need to yeah. evangelize more. Yeah, and I right. did see a reel that I thought was super dope. There was this lady who was a brothel chaplain and she got so much flack. It's like, what's a chaplain doing in a brothel? But uh, because she was able to be there and then this lady was like, oh, do you break curses? And she was like, yeah, sir. Jesus Christ who is able yeah. to break every curse and yeah. da 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 and from that she had she went from one lady curiously randomly asking her a question to 30 women around her Dang. and leading these people to Jesus so wow. I do understand wow. you can be in places like mm -hmm. the script yeah. and, stuff, and you just have an open ear you praying yeah. for people and that is what moves yeah. people <laughs> and, 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 and it's the for me for me honestly like like every Saturday I was just taking y'all my my prayer room Every Saturday, I pray for every topic and every person. So my prayer for Kirk is just like, God, like, um, just if, if this is right, continue to let him on in, in the right way. But if he's wrong, co um, correct him. You know what I'm saying? But he's, been but he's been doing this for so many years. And to be honest with you, I mean, I think the first time he did it with Salt, that turned into something amazing. Yeah. It wasn't on Salt Project. It wasn't on Salt and Pepper, but it was, it was a collaboration that Stomp, constantly yeah. changed her, I mean, it took a minute for her life to change, but she was on that pathway of change. So mm -hmm. we just never know. But at the same time, I think we're so much in the, it's so intertwined right now with so many people doing this mm -hmm. that I'm like, my only concern is that like Glorilla mm -hmm. may think it's okay and keep it moving. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you don't yeah. want. And, and it's always a risk involved. That's why you got to be spirit led when you're doing that kind of stuff. I think too with Kurt, like I was saying earlier, the dancing and the moving and gyrating and stuff you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. A lot of believers, <laughs> you know. You don't like the Michael Jackson movie? Nah, I don't mm -hmm. agree with that. Why not? Jimmy Wine grinding. Yeah, all that stuff. I say none of y'all songs the, require that much movement, bro. Hip hopping and all that stuff. Like, you don't like him crumping? I think sometimes, man. I think sometimes, like we were talking about with the culture, I think we try too hard to be in the culture. Yeah. I just think be who God called you to be. Amen. And if God opens a door for you to go in and be a light, be who you are. It's almost like the youth pastor who got to put the Yeezys on and the joy yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. to feel like he connected with the kids. Like the Holy Spirit don't need no help. Exactly. The Holy Spirit gonna move. But what would you say about the fans of Glorilla that you know just happened to stumble across that track with Kurt Franklin and mm. Chandler Moore? And now they're reaching out looking for those. That's what I'm saying. That's why I believe. Like if you want assignment, it's a it's an open a harvest is plentiful over there. Mm -hmm. It's plenty of folks who need the gospel. Plenty of folks who need work. And I think a lot of people. They want to stay in the confines of just the Christian community like we have this bubble where we don't go out and reach people. And I don't agree with that, but I do believe it's a way to go out there and reach people. You got two people. You got Lecrae who's going out there reaching people, and then you have Kurt going out there reaching people for the most part on a large level. And I think they kind of moving in different ways. Like I haven't seen Lecrae doing the gyrating and the moonwalking and stuff on stage and all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, Kurt kind of doing some things. And then he had the whole line with like, the line will bow down to the goat, whether it's a mistake or not. It's just a lot of a lot of suspect things that make people more critical of Kurt. Now, had Kurt been walking circumspect in the eyes of Christians, one dancing, doing all this kind of stuff, the opinion might be different. Yeah. So I think it's also how you I, carry yourself and how you move. I do got to get some pushback. Come on, man. You, you listening to Brighter Day. You listening to Stomp. You, listening, you up on stage. You got to feel it, man. I don't, nah. I don't know, man. I don't nah. know. I don't know about ain't the body roll. Hey, but the day ain't that bright, bro. You got <laughs> Yeah. I mean, right today. choir Sun music rolling. ain't never drive me to body roll. So, what's Ever. the difference if if it was if it's a Kirk Franklin project versus a Glorilla project? If Kirk Franklin reached out to Glorilla to do well, a feature well, on his song, well, based off of the clip we played earlier, um, it looked like Glorilla wanted that. Right. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it wasn't like Kirk was like searching for it, but if you asked, and it was like we could figure it out. You know, the girl name is Glory Hallelujah. That's yeah. her real name. Yeah. Right? She grew up in church. She a church kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what you see is a lot of these folks running from the church or they leave the church for whatever reason. I don't know a whole story, mm -hmm. but they have knowledge of God. 
And I was one of those people. I had a knowledge of God, but I didn't know what it mean to have a real relationship. Yeah. Had not some people who were in the faith for real come around and were a godly example. I remember Young Noah, shout out to Young Noah. When he first started hanging with me, it was a group of guys like, man, why are you hanging with this dude? He's a bad example. We know what he do. But Noah was like, and we supposed to go out here and try to show love to people. Mm -hmm. And that don't necessarily mean do a song or do whatever, but sometimes as a believer, you might be in some places that seem uncommon in order to do God's work. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, God leading you to do it, everybody's not gonna understand whatever your purpose yeah. is. Your purpose might be to stay in the church. And yeah. the evangelist might not understand why you always in the church. Mm -hmm. But God told you to hold down the fort at the church. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it just, everybody has a different calling. Yeah, I know we got a lot of people in the comments. Um, some people are saying, why y'all judging these people? Um, I would say this, we are, as Christians, we are called to um, make sure our brothers and sisters are straight in the Lord. Right. If you mm -hmm. claim this, it's almost like, I hate keep saying gang, but if you claim something and you're not from it, people could call you out on it. Right. And um, we're not here to judge Glorilla because um, if she doesn't know the Lord, then the Lord's going to judge her. But for Kirk and anybody that was on that project, we just, we're just we just here talking about mm -hmm. what we've done that. or we And then also we're saying, I just literally said, we're praying for Kirk Franklin. Right. We're praying Thanks. for these people. We're not judging them. We're just asking the questions about that and we're giving our perspective of what we would have done right. or not. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, I think I know I know they're not down with the dance moves, Kirks. I, I am. <laughs> I do your dance moves. When I listen to yeah, Hero, absolutely. when I listen to This Is It, you can crump to it. When I listen to I Like It, I, I'm just a dancer at heart. Man, mm. you can't be wearing no uh, see-through shirt, bro. Dog I don't that, know about the see-through shirt. And body rolling. Right. And too body much. Body. And Melodies, bow to the, go the Mel goat. Too much. Mel Melodies from Heaven do got a body roll kind of vibe to it. Nah. I don't know what y'all, but. I ain't never listened to nothing. I ain't never listened to nothing <laughs> to make me want to roll my body. You got nah, it, right. They got a little bit of body roll to it. Nah, 